guys, welcome back to Man View. I'm Gary, your host. Let's talk a little bit about a way that I can hopefully help save you guys hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in cesspool service and or repairs by using this tiny little device that takes one second to install and it's less than 20 bucks. So if you have a cesspool, a septic tank, then at some point you've had to deal with the overflow and drain issues, which I'm sure of course hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. What's the number one cause of the problem? Hair. Why does hair cause so many septic tank problems when it goes down the drain? The answer lies in what hair is made of. Hair is comprised of tough strings of protein, somewhat similar to what your fingernails are made up of. For a variety of complex reasons, these proteins are not easily broken down by bacteria, as organic waste is. They certainly are not even close to being broken down within the 24 to 48 hours they're held in the septic tank, the typical hold time in a septic tank for most septic systems, meaning within a 48 hour period, usually there's some normal drainage that's going on. Hair is certainly not going to break down when that happens. As a result, hair survives pretty much intact for many months within the pipes, septic tank, drain field, and of course your cesspools. Hair, in fact, can survive for hundreds of years in the right environment. There are hundreds of thousands of cases of human remains being found hundreds of years old and the hair is still intact. Think of mummies, right? So this is the number one reason of why your septic tank is having clogged issues, overflowing, not draining, and you need to pay somebody to come in and either drain it, pour acid in it, jet it, whatever it may be, but it's hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it's going to happen again if you don't take the right precautions to fix it or at least eliminate as much of the problem as you can in regards to getting hair down the drain. So hair still gets through. When you still see something like this, which is a, a flat drain, the hair, the holes in this drain are long and they're open. A lot of hair gets through. Even if you're lucky enough to pull up a drain once in a while and get this disgusting hair clog, that's just once in a while. A lot of the hair automatically goes through. It just slips through. You don't even see it, and it's landing in your septic tank and going into your cesspools and so on. Most of the hair you actually don't even see that goes through. So this is what it looks like a typical tub drain. Okay, this is very similar to mine. I have a stem in the middle that actually sticks straight up, and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the device I came across, and I can't recommend it enough. Guys, again, it's under $20, and it does an amazing job. Okay, so this they sell this package with just what they call the shroom. Okay, this is the tub shroom. They make one for the bathroom sink. They make one for the kitchen sink. And um, they make one uh, for the shower if you don't have that drop-down kind of plug look. It's just flat like the, the, the drain I just showed you. They make one just for that as well. So they sell this just by itself or they sell it with this twin pack, which has this stopper in it, which is fantastic. And at, towards the end, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to use this stopper to save water from going into your septic tank that you don't need, stopping hair from going into your septic tank and cesspools that you don't want that aren't in the tub, that's in your bathroom sinks. So I'm going to show you how to use that and save you even more money in water going down the drain and repairs on your septic tank. So we'll come back to that in a few minutes. So this is what the guy, little shroom, the tub shroom, I love the name, little tub shroom looks like. Um, it's stainless steel, it's a few inches, it's got a rubber gasket on the bottom. This is interchangeable, so they give you multiple changing uh, gaskets in case the size of the hole of your tub is a little bit wider, a little bit smaller, and it literally takes one second to put into the tub and this is what it looks like. So it's mildew resistant. As I said before, it has multiple adapters. This right here just pops off. These two guys here, you can snap them on depending on the size of the hole. And we're going to come back to this guy right here. That is, um, we're going to use this in a different way, which is going to be awesome. So this is their promotion picture, what it looks like, you know, and they're trying to show you a real pretty picture. And this is showing the hair that gets wrapped around it. Now, hair loves hair. Okay, hair attracts other hair. When this is in here, it spins around and more hair gets trapped on it and it kind of just creates this just web of disgusting hair 
that gets trapped. Notice these holes, they're not quite like a mesh hole, but it's tough enough for hair to get around it or get through it easily, and it winds up getting caught here. Taking just a piece of cloth or a tissue, you just pull it apart. Now, I'm going to show you what mine looked like in real time. It's freaking disgusting. And it was so much hair pulling off of it, the tissue broke. I had to use my bare hands to do it. Now, these are some of the features. I'm not going to show, go read all these features to you. You can go on the link. I, as usual, I put it in the description below. Everything we talk about here is in the description below. Click on it. Take a look over there. See what other people are saying about it. If you like it, go ahead and buy it. I think it's going to save you a tremendous amount of money. But the important thing here, other than some of the features that they have here, is that it's perfectly optimized here on the bottom for 1.5 to 1.75 wide bathtubs and shower drains. But it does come with those two other adapters that I told you about that includes 1.25 and a 2-inch drains as well. So no matter, it covers pretty much every drain size uh, for a bathtub that you can imagine. You won't have any problems with it. So this is a short little video of actually my bathtub. As I said before, this is a typical standard bathtub. I have the tem stem that sticks up in the top. There's a crossbars on the bottom. That stem sticks up. So I just opened up the shroom package the way it was with the gasket that was already on it. It seals nice right around it and snapped it in. There. Done. Even looks beautiful too. Look at that. I pop it out. When I need to clean it, the gasket seals nice and tight around. And I just snap it down. Looks fantastic. Works even better. Okay, so now here's a real life picture, guys of me cleaning this out about 10 days later. Four people in the house, three guys, one woman, cleaning this out, trying to use the tissue paper, which failed miserably. Um, look at the nasty. Oh, God, I want to throw up. Oh, my God, it's nasty. Oh, oh my God. This is just 10 days, just 10 days. I used the tissue. I cleaned it all off. I was pulling this crap all off. It was so thick and disgusting. I had to use my hands. Look at that nasty crap. Oh, God. Why am I sticking my finger so close to the camera? What the hell was I thinking? It was just mildew. It's just like milky crap, soap, scum, the hair. But just think, as disgusting as this is, and it is. Oh, God, I almost, I almost hurled. That's nasty. This is just 10 days. Four people... Taking showers, 10 days. Again, think about this. Week after week after week, month after month, you're dumping all this hair in your septic tank that doesn't go anywhere. And it's going to clog your tanks and you're going to need hundreds of dollars worth of repairs. That nasty crap on the bottom. It literally takes a good five minutes to clean it all out. Remember, guys, clean this all out with the tissue. Throw it in the garbage can. What one of, our, one of my followers said, oh, I cleaned it all out and I flushed it down the toilet. Thanks for the tip. I didn't say flush it down the toilet. Where do you think that stuff is going in the toilet? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, me too. So wipe it all out with a, a, um, a cloth or a tissue, whatever it is, and throw it in the garbage. And then obviously I just rinse it clean and put it back into the tub. Okay, so after about 40 showers, four people, almost about 10 days, here's all the hair. I wanted to, oh my God, I'm going to throw up again. It's no nasty crap. So this is, I wanted to show you kind of what it looked like an accumulation of 40 showers again. Um, so th this is a regular typical piece of paper. I kind of pulled it all apart. It's disgusting. Let it dry out. But if I push this all together, I kind of make like a golf ball size worth of hair. So if you have more people in the family, hairier people in the family, you got a Sasquatch guys in the house, um, maybe even you put your dogs or cats in the bathtub and you're, you're washing them. You have pets. Um, we have pets. So yeah, all that crap gets into there. You don't want to do that if you're doing it in the sink or you're doing it in your bathtub. And that's, again, only 10 days. This stuff accumulates and it gets extremely disgusting and it clogs up the holes in your septic tank. So let's avoid that. Let's capture all that crap and throw it in the garbage can. So let's talk a little bit quick about the bathroom sink. Okay, we're going to shift over and talk a little bit about the bathroom sink. I want to talk about this guy here, the stopper. So I'm going to give you a couple tips and tricks here. So they make a shroom, looks identical to the bathroom, the bathtub one, but this is for the sink, slightly smaller. 
and it does come with adapters. But on the right over here, this is what a typical sink stopper looks like. There's nothing there to capture hair, nothing to catch it. Um, little pieces of soap going down there, fingernails are going down there, manscaping hair is going down there, shaving hair is going down there. So it's still all getting into your septic tank. You got to have the sink shroom to capture all that stuff. So here's, again, I'm going to give you a live view of this is my sink. Now I'm going to give you a little tip here. So what I do is I took the stopper out of my sink. I don't use the stopper anymore. And I use the, the um, stopper that comes with the shroom. I just turn it and I give it a couple of twists and it seals kind of tight. Not completely tight, but mostly tight. Then I fill up the sink with hot water and I shave. I shut the water off, guys. Shut the water off. Say it with me. Shut the water off. Stop shaving while running the water. You're dumping gallons and gallons of extra water into your septic tank, which as you know, you don't want to be doing. So put the stopper in, fill it with hot water, shave. Keep rinsing off your razor in the hot water. Think of the old Wild West. Get a hot pan of, of, of water. Put it in front of the sink. Get your straight razor out and give yourself a nice shave. Now, because this water seeps a little bit, it will actually start going down slowly but surely. When I'm done shaving, I leave this alone. There's still water in there and it's disgusting. But after about 10 minutes, I come back and I see that most of the hair has been left behind and the film is on the sink. That's all the hair there. So I can wipe all that hair up with a piece of tissue and throw it in the garbage. I also will show you what it looks like with the stopper and how the stopper stopped most of the hair going through. So I clean it up right here with, the, with a piece of tissue paper, throw it in the garbage can. Here's the stopper. I pull the stopper up. Now you can easily see here that a lot of the hair was getting stuck and caught in the ribs of the stopper. But then on the end over here, it's completely clear. So none of the hair got past these little last three or four ribs, which, um, which I'm excited about because I know nothing really got past there or the majority of it didn't get past there. So, so if you got guys who are manscaping over the sink, shaving their arms, shaving their chest, shaving their ears, their hair, their nose, they're using their razors, this is a fantastic tool to use. Put the stopper in, fill up, shut the water off, do everything you got to do. Come back 10 minutes later, you'll find all the film and hair left in the sink, not down in your septic tank. Wipe it all out, throw it in the garbage, throw your regular stopper back into the sink, and you're ready to rock and roll. Or throw your sink shroom back in, and that'll keep the majority of the stuff out as well. So here's some of the other products that they have. They have the another shower shroom. This one here kind of fits like the one I showed you originally when we started the video. If it has like a plate as opposed to a, uh, a drain plug that drops down. So they make one for that. Here's the sink shroom. Now they make one that's got a plastic base here. Um, and I have this one and it works fantastic. Except the plastic's a little flimsy. So I wanted to get the sink shroom that's the stainless steel one. I think it's 2 or $3 more. And I love that one because it, it works exactly like the tub one. And I love that one. So definitely use these for every sink in the house so that you make sure no hair and garbage and stuff is being dumped into the sink. We have dogs. So when we empty out the water bowls into the sink to give them fresh water, because they drool on their big, heavy Newfoundland dogs, a lot of hair goes into their water bowl. So when we dump it, it goes in the sink and that hair can go down the drain. So if you have dogs or cats that you're emptying out the bowls into, into bathroom sinks, this will catch that hair as well. And of course, the kitchen sink, um, sinks room on the right is for the kitchen sink. I don't have one of those. Can't talk a lot about it, but I'm sure it works just as good as the other products. Now, let's talk a little bit about something that has nothing to do with this room. I just want to give you a couple of tips on keeping hair out of the septic tank and your cesspools. One of the habits that we have is that as soon as we shut the shower off, we grab our towel, we stand in the shower, and then we, we just vigorously rub our bodies dry like a bear scratching his back on a tree. You know, we're doing the flossing between our legs with the towel, we're scrubbing our backs, we're, we're vigorously rubbing our hair, and hair is flying everywhere. That's how most of the hair actually gets off you in the shower is the way you dry yourself by rubbing so 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 um, so rough against your skin to dry yourself off don't do that inside the shower because the next person that gets in turns the water on and where do you think that's water that all that hair that's laying on the bottom of the tub's going 
right down the drain. So what I recommend that you do is that you get one of these. You get one of these microfiber absorbent shag rugs. They're super cheap. Um, they're very easy to use. They can be vacuumed, cleaned. You can even throw them in the washing machine. So what these do, they absorb water. I stand in the shower. I pat myself dry. Pat myself dry just so I'm not dripping crazy. Step out of the shower onto my microfiber absorbent mat. Then I can act like a St. Bernard who just got out of a pool and shake like a crazy man or floss between the legs with my towel and vigorously rub my head like I just won the Stanley Cup and everybody's patting me on the head. You know, I can get crazy because the hair is going to fall then on the mat and it's going to fall on the bathroom floor. I can vacuum the mat and I can sweep up the bathroom floor and none of it goes down the drain. So pat yourself dry in the shower, step out onto your microfiber rugs and then really dry yourself off well so none of the hair falls into the tub. So here's some tips before we just close this down. Get a shroom. Get all of them. Get one for each sink in your house, at least the bathroom ones, and get one for each shower that you have. Don't run the water when shaving. Use the stop shroom. Fill it up. Shut the water off. Shave that way. Let it go down on its own. Wipe out the sink, and you're ready to rock and roll. Don't run the water when brushing your teeth. We all should know that by now. I, I was a victim of that. I constantly did it, um, so I got slapped in the head and realized I need to shut the water off while I'm brushing my teeth. So I now do that. And then get yourself a microfiber mat so you can dry yourself outside the shower, not inside the shower. Okay, guys, that's it. So that hopefully will save you hundreds and thousands, hundreds, excuse me, and or thousands of dollars in your cesspool repairs with just this tiny little device for, uh, like I said, less than $20. Thanks for watching. As always, remember, subscribe to the channel, click on it, click on the little bell notification so every time that we put a new video out, you'll get alerted about it. Um, if you have any comments and feedback, I'd love to hear from you. Drop your comments below. If you have any questions about the product, by all means, put it in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer them for you. As always, I will put a link to the product so you can click on it, go to it, read other reviews about it or purchase it if you happen to like it. Until next time, guys, watch Man View over and over and over again like binge TV.